Hello and welcome to my channel Cybersecurity Gurukul. Today we are going to see major reasons why we fall prey to cyber crimes or frauds. In this digital era, cyber crimes have become an unfortunate reality. They're like a shadowy underworld operating silently and causing havoc. This video will shed light on the common reasons why individuals unknowingly become victims of these digital predators. So, let's start our journey to understand the intricate web of cyber crimes better. Without further ado, let's dive into the reasons behind why we fall prey to cyber crimes. The first major reason why people fall victim to cyber crimes is lack of awareness. Now what does this mean? Picture this. You're walking down a street you don't know and it's dark. You might end up tripping over something or even worse, walk into a dangerous situation. The same thing happens in the cyber world. When we're not aware of what's out there, we walk right into traps set by cyber criminals. Cyber crimes come in many forms, from phishing scams that trick you into giving away your personal information, to malware that can infect your devices. And these cyber criminals are crafty. They're always coming up with new ways to trick us. But here's the good news. Staying informed about these threats can significantly lower your risk. Start by learning about the different types of cyber crimes. Read up on the latest scams. Join online forums or groups that discuss cyber security. So, it's important to stay informed and aware about the various forms of cyber crimes. The second major reason is trusting unsolicited messages. You might receive a text, email or even a call out of the blue, promising a prize or warning you about a problem with your account. These unsolicited messages are often the bait used by scammers to hook you. They lure you into revealing your personal information or trick you into clicking on malicious links. So, how can you avoid falling into these traps? Well. It's important to be skeptical. If you didn't enter a lottery, you can't win it. If your bank sends you a message asking for your password, alarm bells should ring. Legitimate companies will never ask for your personal details via email or text. Always double check the source and never click on links or download attachments from unknown senders. Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably isn't. Curiosity and temptation often lead people into cyber traps. It's a classic case of the proverbial cat. Curiosity can lead to unexpected and sometimes dangerous places. Cyber criminals exploit this natural human trait through clickbait headlines, tantalizing offers, and intriguing stories that seem too good to be true. They draw you in, tugging at your curiosity and tempting you to click, to explore, to engage. But here's the catch. One click can open the floodgates to malware, phishing attempts, and a whole host of cyber threats. So how do we resist this curiosity and temptation? by exercising caution. If an offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. If a headline promises shocking revelations, take a beat and consider the source. Remember, every click is a decision, a step into the online world. Make sure it's a step in the right direction. Always exercise caution and think twice before clicking on anything suspicious. Another common reason for falling prey to cyber crimes is the lack of strong passwords. Now, you might wonder, why does it matter? Well, strong passwords act like unbreakable doors, keeping unwanted guests out. Imagine using a simple key for your house that anyone could duplicate. That's what it's like when you use passwords that are easily guessable. So what makes a password strong? A combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and special characters. And remember, your favorite pet's name or your birthday might not be the best choices. They're often the first guesses of cyber criminals. Managing multiple strong passwords can seem like a daunting task. But worry not, password managers are here to help. They not only store your passwords securely, but also help you generate strong, unique ones for each of your accounts. A strong password can be your first line of defense against cyber crimes. So, never underestimate the power of a good password. Ignoring software updates can leave your devices vulnerable to cyber attacks. Now, you might be wondering, why are these updates so important? Well, in the vast digital universe, software developers are in a constant battle with cyber criminals. As hackers discover new ways to exploit software, developers respond by creating patches to fix these vulnerabilities. Think of these updates as a protective wall. Each brick added strengthens your defense against potential threats. Ignoring updates, on the other hand, is like leaving a hole in your fort. It's an open invitation for cyber criminals to waltz right in. This doesn't just apply to your operating system. Every app, every piece of software, including your antivirus, needs to be kept up to date. 
It's like a chain and each link needs to be strong because your cybersecurity is only as robust as the weakest link. Remember, always keep your software updated to stay one step ahead of cyber criminals. Sharing too much personal information online can make you an easy target for cyber criminals. It's an unfortunate reality of our digital age. Oversharing can happen anywhere, from social media platforms to online forms that ask for more data than they need. Each tidbit of personal information you share, like your birthday, hometown, or even your pet's name, can be a piece of the puzzle that cyber criminals use to steal your identity or hack your accounts. They're crafty and they're counting on you to let your guard down. So, how can you maintain your privacy online? First, think before you share. Do you really need to post that selfie with your street sign in the background? Second, adjust your privacy settings on social media platforms to restrict who can see your posts. Lastly, be wary of online forms that ask for personal information. If it's not necessary, don't share it. Remember, the less personal information you share online, the safer you are. Lastly, we'll discuss a few other reasons like impulsiveness, lack of backup for important data, falling for emotional manipulation, lack of reporting, and greed that can make one fall prey to cyber crimes. Let's start with impulsiveness. This can often lead to rash actions like clicking on suspicious links or downloading unverified apps. One way to combat this is to take a moment before acting. Think twice, click once. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Next, we have the lack of backup for important data. In this digital age, data is everything. But what if you lose it all in a cyber attack? The answer is simple. Backup. Regularly backing up your data to an external hard drive or cloud service can save you a lot of heartache in the future. Then there's emotional manipulation. Scammers often play on your emotions to get what they want. They might pose as a loved one in trouble or a charity in need. Always verify the source before giving away your hard-earned money or personal information. Another reason is the lack of reporting. Many people, after falling victim to a scam, feel too embarrassed to report it. However, reporting is crucial. It helps authorities track down the culprits and prevent others from becoming victims. Remember, there's no shame in falling for a sophisticated scam. The shame lies in not doing anything about it. Lastly, we have greed. Scammers often lure victims with promises of quick riches or unbelievable deals. Always remember, if it's too good to be true, it probably isn't true. Be cautious of such offers. In conclusion, staying safe online is all about being aware, cautious and proactive. Be wary of unsolicited messages and too good to be true deals. Keep your personal information to yourself. Always update your software. Use strong, unique passwords and regularly back up your data. Also, don't hesitate to report if you've been scammed. Remember, your security is in your hands. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and definitely share this video as this will help your near and dear ones to remain protected against cybercrime. Do not forget to click on bell icon. And please do comment if you need any other video to be prepared about any other cybercrime that you may have faced. Thank you and see you in the next video.